So before I tell you what's going to happen according to predictions out there, I want to tell you that my premonition just came true when I said that whoever's in the White House now, it's a very sad time and that people were leaving. And I saw this at Christmas time. There was a Christmas tree at that moment. But I didn't know who was leaving. I saw staff and a sadness. All right? So I told you somebody is leaving the White House. Now, here's the interesting part. There is a prediction. It's not mine. There was a prediction I gave you a few months ago about exactly what's happening right now. I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> this could be a little mind-blowing because who would have guessed that this would have happened? You ready? You're going to love this. Let's have fun with it. to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Okay, Joe Biden stepped down finally. Hello. He waited till the last minute and guess what? Kamala Harris is now uh, running for president. Who knows what that's going to end up looking like? I'm not taking sides because I don't believe in taking sides. I look at how people are going to handle things, what they present, if they're positive, if they're peaceful, if they're working for people and our planet as a whole, or if they're battling, fighting, and using negative terms, by the way. So if you hear that, you know that whoever it is you're watching is speaking separation and conflict, and that's not going to result in anything really good. So I haven't watched the candidates to really listen to how they're speaking purposely. I want to come from a clean space. I'm going to share with you a prediction that was made that absolutely is mind-blowing right now, okay? First of all, I hope you'll subscribe. I'm going to keep producing more of these, and if I have another premonition, I will share it with you. I don't get them very often, but when I do, they are crystal clear. So maybe I can ask for a few insights and see what I come up with. Now, what I want you to know is that a few months ago, and I can't remember the video. If I can find it, I'll put it up here. I'll have it pop up. Uh, where does that come up? I don't know where it, I don't know where it comes up. Anyways, you'll see it pop up. Um, I gave a prediction that was given through it. Now, this is, this is out there. I have to tell you, I'm going to share something that's really out there. But I'm, I'm not a woo kind of girl. I go by quantum physics. To me, everything's energy, and our decisions, and our focus, and everything as creators is creating everything, including the matrix that we're playing, and it's all illusion, and that we go on to bigger, greater things, that we are the energy field that drives all of this, and everything is possible right now. Every change is possible. I want you to know that. So you have to make higher choices if you want to live in a world of peace and compassion and including everyone and finding solutions in those who are making choices that are not so, let's just say, peaceful and friendly. We have to provide the solutions, not divide ourselves. So there was a person who claims that he was on a spacecraft. <laughs> I, hey, listen, I'm just, I'm, don't shoot the messenger. You guys get mad at me. I'm unsubscribing. I'm, I'm just, I'm just passing on the information. You've seen my book. It's a, it's a download. I'm just sharing the information and it's all meant to empower you. But you still have choice within these things I'm going to share right now. So the gentleman's name is Chris Bledsoe. It's probably other than other than other than another person who I believe absolutely was abducted, um, and it was I think the movie is called Fire in the Sky. And other than that gentleman, many many years ago, who was abducted, disappeared. Everybody who saw it, they they thought that they killed this guy. <laughs> they thought he was, and they were lying. All past the lie detector test. And like, what is, I think, five days later, he shows up and he was on a spacecraft and they were actually repairing him because the yin-yang ran under the ship 
and probably got blasted with radiation and they had to repair him. Chris Bledsoe, for whatever reason, was abducted and was his son. Other people witnessed this. There was missing time. They were gone for a couple hours, came back, didn't actually remember everything, although he's written a book. I would love to get the book to find out the facts, but I'm going to give you enough of what I heard him say in a couple of interviews because I wanted to hear it from his mouth. He was abducted and through a series of events uh, decided it wasn't worth sharing this information with the world because he had destroyed his life. I don't know why anybody would make this stuff up. Well, there's some people like attention, but for him it made no sense. You know, he went bankrupt, uh, he was having all kinds of horrible uh, things happen. Of course, he got kicked out of his church, his family was made fun of, and so he said, finally, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not the messenger that you are here and that we need to change our ways. So, somebody appeared and it was the blue lady or whatever he calls her. I'll, I'll put the picture right here, you'll see that. It, this is an artist's rendering. And she spoke to him. Now, I'm going to give, this is the prediction part that you want to hear because it absolutely applies to right now, what's going on right now. This is mind blowing because I thought, I don't know how this is going to happen. Good luck. Well, it coincides with our elections. This lady appeared and basically, you know, made a deal with him that if he continued his work, that they would be there to assist him more than they had because they sort of like, you know, bugged out. She said that in April of 2025, 2025, I believe, or is it 2026? Okay, I'll get this right. I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll pop up here. 2025, when the red star, <laughs> it says, sounds like a Monty Python thing. When the red star regulus aligns with the, <laughs> with the Sphinx, <laughs> what's your favorite color? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that, Monty Python? Okay, yeah, I'm going off track. <laughs> I do that. Welcome to my channel. We have to have fun. This is getting way too serious. Anyways, she said when the Red Star Regulus, he didn't even know what that was. I don't even know what it is. Aligns just before dawn with the Sphinx. Da the dawning of a new era will begin of the feminine of the feminine. In 2025, and especially in 2026 and on, is going to launch a new era of the feminine. Well, we know what the feminine is. It's more peaceful, it's nurturing, it's inclusive, it avoids conflict, it, it, it Comes, it is a solution maker, just like everything that I do. You guys see me and people, why are you promoting stuff? Well, bye. Shut your pie hole. I'm helping the planet. What are you doing for a living? <laughs> yes, it's a spiritual butt kick. Sorry. Digital Explorers, we're creating planet conscious businesses. We're helping people go into compassion and passion and positive impact purpose and all this stuff. I give you guys ways to break through fear. So the feminine power has a tendency to want to provide solutions to include people in and love all and nurture. We are the compassionate ones. Not every woman, but you know what I mean. Well, I'm not saying that this is the deal, but I think it's ironic that out of nobody could have guessed that we have a female running for president right now. And she would go into office right about that time. Hmm. I don't know the first thing about her standpoint. All I want you to do is take this all in and enjoy it. Ultimately, it will be a direct reflection of where we are in our frequency, definitely. That choice, whatever happens, is where we are, where the planet is, not just the United States. We are creating these frequency choices through our own personal choices 
and it's going to be reflected in who we place in these positions. So they, of course, are a direct reflection of our state of being. Now, if this prediction is right, then it's possible that, yes, they'll clear out of the White House, but somebody else will, will be in that White House. This is going to get real interesting. When the Red Star Regulus aligns with the Sphinx in April of 2025, if I'm wrong about that, I'll, I'll have it pop up here. I gotta go look at it. Um, an era of the feminine will begin, which is an opening for amazing new things and a future of peace. This is good news. Yeah? So. Let's see if I come up with any dreams. I did have a premonition prior to our uh, health issues here. I told everybody to get ready. Something huge was happening and they needed to get their homes in order. They had to get their frequency aligned that something so big was going to happen. And I didn't know what it was, but I knew I had to give everybody this, I don't want to say warning, but you know, a little heads up that something really big was going to happen and they needed to get everything in order in their home. Then a few months later, we went on lockdown. And this, it wasn't, it was prior to us knowing that this thing even existed. I've never been wrong because it's not me that's giving these, getting these premonitions. I'm a delivery system from in, for information and you can get this too. So if you want to tune into these things, you can go into meditation and just open yourself up. Don't demand from an ego standpoint. The feminine will rule the planet. Does that mean somebody is going to be in office or maybe it just means something else is going to happen to take us into a more peaceful, inclusive society. My suggestion to you is to be the catalyst for that positive, inclusive change. Yes, we must open our hearts and everything else to those in need. Simplify your life, clean up your health, your house, be aware of every living thing. I'm going to show you in my next video something that I'm doing. I'm taking my own, uh, let's just say, cleansing to the next level. Um, there's a book called The Blue Zones. I'll put it down in the description and I'm actually going through it and doing the recipes in there. When you clean up your own energy field physically, because we live in a physical toxic world, you'll notice big changes. You'll be able to access this information easier. The less you contribute out there, the more you're going to pick up on the feminine. The feminine is the decision maker to do things that are a little uncomfortable, but so amazing. The response, the results are going to be so amazing. Stop doing what's convenient for you that's destroying your health and our planet that will take you into the feminine. The more you align yourself with that now, doesn't matter who goes in office, it's about you and your response. It's about your response. So I have to tell you before I let you go, first of all, these are free. This is the breakthrough fear. If you are living in fear, come on over. I've got free videos, a free masterclass. Digital Explorers, you wanna have an online business, come on over, blowing the doors off of how we choose how to earn money. So I take items in because I'm simplifying my life. I take beautiful items into a, a consignment store, this lovely little uh, place here in St. Petersburg. And this co young couple run this store and I always work with them. I bring my stuff in there. And so today, Matt says to me, <laughs> uh, I was watch, he goes, I listened to Coast to Coast AM. And I went, oh my God, <laughs> he said, I'm thinking, you're the only Landria Anka I know of. I said, I'm actually the only one on the entire planet. He goes, 
Holy cow, he didn't know that this is what I do for a living. If you haven't seen heard that interview, Coast to Coast AM, George Norrie interviewed me July 7th, and we talked about miracles. We talked about choices. We talked about being a creator. We talked about not getting cut up, caught up in the material world. I gave, I gave some examples of uh, some little ghost stories with my dad of how you can attach yourself to things here physically when you are in separation, individualism, uh, judgment, and materialism. Let's step away from that and you will go into the feminine. It is a choice for everybody. You may not experience it and the, there may be a huge movement and you'll think everything's going to hell in a handbasket. It's an individual reality choice because unlimited realities exist right now. You get to choose it. That's, a, that's good news, right? Uh, the other thing I'm going to do a video on, uh, I don't know about you, but um, I think I have about a half a dozen people in ICU that went in ICU and several that just died. Just just recently, this is July, and it's crazy, and I'm all ages too. It's like all of a sudden people are exiting, and I think that that is something prevalent. We'll talk about that in future videos. So stay tuned because we got a lot of good stuff coming. I hope I get some information. I'll share it with you guys. Again, I hope you'll subscribe, share these videos, and let's see. Let's see if this stuff comes to pass. Mine did. All of mine have. All right? Like I said, they're not predictions. They're premonitions. I'm just sharing the information. But you're in control, right? You're totally in control. You're whole. And perfect, strong, and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. That's from the Master Key System. I'm going to keep reading some of that, too, for you. Namaste.